Okay, so today we're going to address airbrush maintenance. This airbrush has uh, just been finished with. We've got paint on it, we've got paint on our hands. Now normally at the, uh, the end of airbrushing you would use cleaner just to clean up your airbrush. So we're now going to presume that you've got dry paint in your airbrush, which is a different scenario because when you go to paint next you'll have a film in your nozzle um, and that'll cause skipping and, and maybe not even spraying properly at all. So uh, we're now going to address cleaning that completely at the end of the week or when you've left your, your gear lying around and you've now got that dried paint. So watch the whole of this uh, DVD instruction because we're going to get through a lot of things and at the end we're going to give you some good tips on airbrush uh, troubleshooting really. So, first of all, we have Restorer. Now Restorer you'll find in the Wicked Colours and the Auto Air Colours section on the website and the Createx. This Restorer cleans up every paint system we have. Um, it also cleans up other water-based systems and some solvent systems. So. What we're going to do is we're going to take the cup and we're going to paste it in our jar. Our jar's already got some in there. I'm going to take the caps off. Okay, so the first one is the needle cap, then the nozzle cap. Because they're small, I'm not going to place them in the jar. Then we're going to take the head cap off. The head cap is bigger. So we'll chuck the head cap in there. Take the back off. And we'll take the needle out now and we'll pop the needle in. And the nozzle, we don't want to damage the nozzle. So normally we wouldn't take it apart like this, but we're presuming right now that we have dried paint in the actual nozzle. So we don't want to drop that and lose that. And, and this is the advantage of the cleaning tray, which has been just brought out from my water, is if you clean your, your, your objects on this tray and they fall, they land inside and they've got a lip so they can't fall out. So now we'll just pop. Now, with this, and actually use this diagram to help yourself off of this tray, just past the point in where the paint goes in, and mixes with the with the air is where you want to soak to never soak your airbrush lying down because that's only going to create um, your valve is going to get sticky and it won't work properly um, and you might be up for you know a, a teflon needle packing screw so always front forward always just pass not up to the trigger so i've already measured the distance so we're just going to whack that in there now we're going to leave that there for half an hour, no longer half an hour is all you need. There again on the airbrush accessories section of the website you'll find these. These are big wipes. Now the big wipes are non-irritable to the skin. They will clean up water-based systems. This has been on my hands now for the last hour and a half. This is water-based paint which is usually very difficult to get off your fingers. It sticks extremely well. It foams up a bit, so it's very similar to dishwashing liquid. It's got a fragrant smell about it. And as you can see, there's hardly any effort in that, and I'm clean. Um, so, you know, clean your workspace up with it. I also like to use it on the needle. All right, because it cleans the needle up really well. That's clean now. And you can use it to clean your outside of, of your airbrush. Um, so we will leave that now for half an hour. Half an hour is all you need, no longer, any longer than half an hour, and you start softening the O-rings. And if you get it up past uh, the point where the, the, the Teflon needle packing screw is, you might be up for one of those after a little bit of time because it will, it will do damage to that too. Okay, so we've, we've now waited half an hour, and we're now going to pluck our airbrush out and we can see now that the paint is all liquefied and just a, a light wipe yet again with the big wipe and, and we're clean so we'll now just get the other components out there again the paint is now liquefied I mean it's not going to come running out into the to the mixture all it does is, is melt the paint so you can get it out. So that's now nice and clean. And we'll get our head cap out. There you go. It's a little bit deep. So we'll get this 
the needle in there and we'll pop him out with the needle. There again, the tray, very useful. Pop it on the tray, doesn't roll away, don't lose it. I'm just gonna dry my hands off. Give the components a dry. Now, at this stage, you would generally go, okay, we'll leave it here. Um, this is a little trick that's not on the website and this is what I do recommend you do is you now get uh, the cleaner from the system you've been using in this case we're going to say it's auto air and once you put your airbrush back together is to spray some of that through um, and that will now uh, neutralize and get rid of all the restorer so it stops the eating effect so now for putting it back together okay so there again this tray extremely handy i've just popped them onto there with the nozzle very fine, fine thread. This is a common one. Most people will cross thread this. See, that was just gentle. Now that's just finger tight now. So all you need to do is just pass finger tight, no more, okay? Don't force it, because if you force it, you'll snap it off inside the, the body assembly. Now we'll put the needle back in, we'll swap hands. Because needle passes through the trigger, and that ensures now that the trigger can't come out. Okay, so just into the needle. From here, we put the head cap on. There again, when you're doing this up, it's only just past finger tight. The nozzle cap, and then the needle cap. Now, we're back to clean. I would, like I said, I would now spray cleaner through this airbrush just to neutralize it. We'll do that off camera. Now, when it comes to um, other components in the cleaning, this is when uh, you would, when you've got it all pulled apart, the Mac brush cleaning set, you can get in and give your components. And then there again, when you've got your head cap off, you can get into the shaft and give it a clean in there. And if you've got a top feed, you can come down in where the paint mixes in and give it a clean in there. So that's what you would use it for. You don't stick them in your nozzle. Um, that'll split your nozzle. The big wipes, you can't say, you know, honestly, I use these all the time. They clean up everything. They're very handy to have. There's no skin irritations. They're well worthwhile having around. Now, we're going to presume at this stage that we have done um, the cleaner and we put our cleaner through this airbrush. Now the last thing I would do is I would take the needle out, grab yourself some super lube. There again, super lube comes in a larger quantity. This is the one that comes with an airbrush and put a few drops on that needle. Now work it up the needle a little bit. So when you put it back in, what you're now doing essentially is the needle packing screw. You're now lubricating that. And then when you go all the way in, you're lubricating the nozzle. And a slight twist when you get to the, to the end of the nozzle, make sure it's located. Doing back up, put the back back on an airbrush. And we're now ready to go. And that trigger is now as good as what it was the day that we bought this airbrush. So hopefully this helps you to decide on, on the products in which is suitable to help you with cleaning. Remember, restore a half an hour only, no longer. All the rest of the products you will find in the airbrush accessories section on the website. Now, let's just say there's a couple of bits of troubleshooting here for you. If you've, if you've now put your airbrush back together and you've gone to use it and you've got bubbles in your cup when you're painting, that means that the O-ring seal between the head cap and the body, the main body, has gone, air is getting in, that is causing your bubbling in there, so you'll need to replace that. Now, another common problem, and uh, they come across this a lot, is if you manage to do up your nozzle too hard and you, sh and you shear it off inside, the best thing to do, we'll just take that back off again, here we go. So we'll just take that out of there and we'll take the needle out so we don't need that in there. 
and we'll just say that you've snapped it off on the inside. Get a pin and put a pin in there and just pin against it and turn while you're holding the pin, turn the airbrush counterclockwise and that will then back that thread out for you so you can put another nozzle in there. Now let's just say that, that you've damaged the entire inside of the, the screw thread inside the actual um, body assembly itself. Um, one of the tricks you can do is with your new nozzle, once you've got the old one out, if you've got um, uh, skipping, so you put the new one in and your paint's now skipping, it's generally because you've actually damaged the thread and air's getting in between the thread and the nozzle. So what you'd now do is you would put your nozzle in you know, three quarters of the way, your new one, and there's a little gap there and you can see it with a magnifying glass. And when you get to the end of the, the nozzle thread, you put a little bit of Loctite around and then slightly do it up. That Loctite will, will actually put a, a nice seal in there between the, the nozzle and the head assembly and the air can't get through and that'll stop the paint from skipping and you're back to 100%. So hopefully there's a couple of little tips for you that help you. Um, I definitely use these products in, in my work environment all the time. So, you know, to, to readdress it, to restore it, half an hour, then the actual cleaning tray, that is it's an absolute godsend. It's got the picture on there, it's got a breakdown of where all the parts go so you know. You can put all your parts on there so they don't roll away. I use the MAC cleaning set to clean inside my airbrush and I use the Super Lube to make sure that the airbrush is back to 100% when we want to use it again. So there you go guys, hopefully that helps you with uh, what you need and the final clean up with the big wipes and we're good to go again. Yeah.